Good morning, John. A while back, I was watching a John Oliver clip on YouTube. It was about like kind of the dark sides of certain kinds of homeschooling. And I looked at the comments and I saw this one about how Crash Course specifically had really helped a person who had been homeschooled in, you know, kind of a particular situation. That was a wild and amazing thing to just stumble across on the internet. But it is not hard to find people saying nice things about Crash Course. They just keep on popping up. It's like they'll never stop. If you search Twitter for Crash Course and AP, you can scroll forever. And I get into my face a fair amount. Like people will come up to me in public and tell me that I helped them pass a class or with an AP exam or nursing school or whatever A-levels are. And this is wonderful for me. Though I am a little sad that most of the people responsible for Crash Course, the writers and artists and editors and experts and fundraisers and producers, they do not hear it as much as I do because their face isn't physically on it. But the good that this thing has done in the world is just bonkers, and the amount of work and thought and care that has gone into it is off the charts. But given that's the case, you might be wondering, why is this video titled, The People I Hate Most in the World? Well, John, I'll be honest, uh, it's because being amazed that a small number of people can come together and create something that is truly nationally and internationally impactful that makes life easier for both teachers and students is somehow much less compelling than hating people on the internet. Not a problem external to me. I also have this problem. There are a certain kind of powerful person on the internet that I cannot stand. And I spend like a not insignificant amount of time disliking them. Which is weird because I do not particularly enjoy disliking them. And also, it doesn't seem that disliking something should be time consuming. And yet it is! I will listen to a two-hour podcast of people talking about reasons why I shouldn't like a person I already dislike. God save me from becoming the host of one of those podcasts. Even worse than that, uh, disliking them, from what I can tell, does no good. And I do have right in front of me many, many opportunities for actually doing good. But you know what I know? If I made a tweet or a video tearing down those people who I dislike, I would get so many likes and views and shares and those numbers would be like candy from a little candy brain. And they also give me like clout in the specific in-group that I am a part of and that would feel really good. But never in my life, I think, would someone come up to me and say, Hank, that mean tweet you did, it really helped me through a tough time. I do not think that I'd be getting cancer treatment and a nurse would say to me, Hank, that brutal takedown video you made, it really helped me through nursing school. I'm pretty sure that there is zero chance that me being mad on the internet could possibly be better for the world than me spending time helping Crash Course exist. So of course I need to do my own work internally to better understand why I get, can get so wrapped up in disliking specific people, but regardless of why, I would like to continue to work to focus on things that matter more than that, which is almost everything else I do. Anyway, if you believe that Crash Course is a very good and powerful thing, and that the work being done by the dozens of people who work very hard to make it happen is more valuable than whatever YouTube ads can deliver for us, and you think that you might be one of the people who can help it exist, we have three absolutely beautiful little pieces of art for you. They're not cheap little pieces of art, but that is by design. At Crash Course, we spend around five cents for every learner we reach. And so that is the currency of these coins. The copper 2,000 learner coin is $100, the bimetallic 10,000 learner coin is $500, and the $1,000 laser anodized titanium coin will allow us to reach 20 thousand learners. That's like a pretty big town of people. Now all of these coins, though expensive, I think are a fantastic value. For what we do for people, I think we could get away with charging a lot more than five cents per person. But we don't want to do that. Crash Course could never be successful if we charged for it in the first place. But now a lot of people are like, well, why don't you, now that you've built up the brand, why don't you start charging for it now? It's worth a heck of a lot more than five cents per pupil. We just don't want to do that. We want it to be free for everyone forever. And the only way we can make that work is if the people who can pay, pay, so that the people who cannot pay don't have to. If you'd like to give a different amount, the Crash Course Patreon is of course linked in the description. And of course, there's also the secret patron coin that is only available to people who are hitting their three-year anniversary of being Crash Course patrons. John, I'm so proud of the work that the Crash Course team has done over the years. I'm so proud to have been any kind of part of it, and I'm so proud to be able to support them in all of the ways that I can, including getting my own coin. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.